is, um, again, this is just raw footage straight out of the engine, but it shows quite a dramatic, um, you know, kind of tungsten shift to make it um, just have a very blue kind of feel, obviously, but a strong kind of blue daylight shift. Um, this one, again, taking the color palettes and, and stretching them from blue to uh, have a little bit more magenta, um, just gives you, uh, again, a, just a very different feel to the, uh, to the whole thing, the, the, the effect on the vegetation. Um, you know, you can still preserve some of the blue, but also have uh, elements uh, that warm up the, the browns of the buildings and make the, the trees and, and other you know, natural um, elements look much more realistic. Um, so again, using color palette in, a, in an environment like this just gives you a, another kind of, um, you know, tool in, in the arsenal of, I just got another one here, um, again, this is obviously including uh, rain and some of the reflections that we saw earlier, but again, just changing the color palette and um, you know, modifying the, the color temperature just gives you a much different feel in exactly the same environment. Um, so again, it's uh, another one of the things that, you know, uh, we reach for in terms of trying to shape and color uh, environments to produce different, different effects. And again, it's because you have such a, a rich visual environment, you really need some way of homogenizing everything into into a nice um, stable color palette. So, I mean, this uh, image is one that I think kind of encapsulates a lot of uh, you know what I've covered uh, this morning. You have the use of silhouetted shapes uh, in the background, the use of natural phenomena with smoke and fire, dappled light, a lot of a lot of geometry here, a lot of angular geometry, but it, it, it's all working because the, um, the techniques of dappled light, silhouette, uh, use of you know, the environments, there's not much of a, a sense of the reflections here in some of the windows that there is, uh, but again, it's, it's, it's an image that indicates how using that recipe of seven elements, you can actually produce something that sits well um, you know, this is this is probably one of the most recognizable areas in, in Manhattan, Wall Street, and it's shown a city respectfully, but in a very different way, with a lot of you know um, a, a lot of kind of care taken into into the set dressing of it. So I think it's it's quite indicative of what we are trying to achieve. <clears throat> 